Now it's time for afternoon mode. Yep. So, Kinderdike, we're gonna go off on a little electric boat tour and see some windmills mm -hmm. and... We have a walking tour as well. Let's do it. Yeah. It's got blue skies out there. I'm kind of excited. There's a little bit of sun. Oh. I'm so excited. Yeah. Come <laughs> on. Is this D and the T again? Um, a D and the coffee? coffee this okay. What kind of do I want? The world needs to know. Cappuccino is the winner. <laughs> Now we have been warned that it is very windy out here today. Oh yes. Just got all synced into the red channel with our guide. He said to come wait down here at the crossing. Blue skies, sunshine, windmills, who could ask for anything more? Normal, normally there's water in the dike. Uh, if you see water coming over the dike, oh boy, mm -hmm. that's a problem. When you go to Amsterdam, maybe the surroundings, you've got also mills, flour, tobaccos, woods, flooring woods. The only thing you do in the area, you will see that stunting water. See it even on the mills. All the mills you see, that side the built in 1738. All in one year. Time to go locate and board our boat. seating which actually filled up the fastest indoor seating so we've got our choice of seats down in here today but will protect us from the wind a little bit here which we can identify by their shoes. <laughs> These mills are from like the mid 1700s and they're used for pumping water. That's all they do. Got this manual wheel system down here they can use to rotate like which direction the blades face. They got a handbrake system and everything. Oh, yep, you made the, uh, made the mill stop. And you release it, and there it goes again. Good gracious! I guess they put these windmills in a good spot. There's definitely some wind. Whew, this is one of those that you guys might just have to come experience on your own. It is glorious, but it is hard to capture with all this wind. Next up, we get to go inside. Maybe we'll have a little bit calmer, calmer calm in here. So parts of this they lubricate with mud, parts of it with bee wax, he said. Oh, there are the exit stairs, looks like the entrance stairs are here on the other side. Man, glass floors. That's cool for being able to see stuff. There is our staircase. All right. Success! We are in the upstairs. 
based on the plans we made from uh, 1950 feet up till now, uh, we gave them to uh, New Orleans after uh, Katrina, that the whole vertical pile was uh, broke. broke uh, Oh, over here through this clear glass, you can kind of see the, uh, I guess, the one that makes contact with the water down there. Let's see if we can get that in focus. A little better. All right, now we go downstairs, backwards, and then there's some other stuff for us to go see. Nice. To the barn, then. <laughs> this must be the barn. Anno on it, but normally Anno is with two ends. The, the space was too short. <laughs> like our ride is returning to retrieve us. Well, they do we can ride off into the sunset. <laughs> oh, there's the shoes for both the Millers. We have to go straight back to the boat. It is officially passed back on board time by about three or four minutes, but just around corner here, and I'm pretty sure they'll wait for us. Hello, I'm a Certo. I feel like we're pier runners. Let's go, quick. We're not right. gonna make it. It's a short. <laughs> now they've just kicked up the engines in earnest and we are moving on toward Amsterdam getting ready for dinner now sip and sail good times I think I forgot to re-mention that tonight is gala dinner night ooh la la <laughs> or ooh gala hmm. Questionnaire submitted. Thank you. Oh, fancy night beverages. <laughs> they have come around with snacks. They had what they were calling sausage, which of course is pig in a blanket. Veggie samosas. I passed on the spring rolls because we got dinner coming up right after this. But I couldn't pass up that pig in a blanket. I would also like to personally thank two of my wonderful colleagues here on the chair too, and that is first of all our captain Yama, who is an absolute pleasure to work with. I also want to thank our hotel manager Andrea. We had a fantastic time here this week. I can say that hopefully she said that too. Andrea, why don't you come up and introduce your team, our hotel manager. Thank you for your help and for all your support, Betsy. Thank you so much. <laughs> I would like to call Captain Janos because he has his Nautica team and he would like to point them on the stage as well. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good to see you here, all of you on board. I hope you really, really had a really nice time with us. And uh, I really enjoy when you came back. I see you smiling back to me as I was standing by the reception and you had a nice day and hopefully uh, you collect a lot of memories here in the Lowlands, here in the Netherlands. On behalf of Fama Waterways and all crew from Certo, thank you very much for being our guest. 
and we never say goodbye just till the next time cheers Done with dinner and coming out to the lounge. It is um very quiet in here. It's yeah, the last night we're a little early. We'll settle in and have a good time. We still have to pack, so we can't stay too late. Pish. Just throw everything in. Pish. <laughs> time for the late night snack check. Oh, we got kiwis on the fruit tray tonight. There's some interesting little uh, cookie cakey things. Condiments look like standard ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Oh, nothing there yet. That's going to be forthcoming. And bread. All right, so we'll wait to see what happens in this tray. The sandwiches just came out. The anticipation is building. All right, the tray has been filled. Yo, I don't know what this is. Let's um discover together. All right, we grab some. Oh, the flicker in here is really bad. Um, it's some kind of like a white sausage um thing. It's not bad, but it's not super hot. So. Hmm. Bedtime. We've come back to the cabin to find dark chocolate for everybody. Whoop, whoop. Good, Good morning. morning. <laughs> it is tomorrow already. Y'all, we stayed up too late. We're talking to Jason and Lisa. That's right. We, we still have, have to pack. Uh huh. I haven't done that. It's okay. We don't have far to go tomorrow, so it'll be all right. That's yeah. true. You know, we are flying to Lisbon tomorrow to continue our adventure. Correct. So let's get into, I guess we need to talk about Kinderdike and those big old windmills. It was beautiful. Such a nice day. It didn't have to be a long excursion because you really got to enjoy all of it in a short amount of time because that's basically what was there. That was it. Um, but the Milners, is that what they were called? Millers or Milners? Milners. We were Millers. extremely informative. Our tour guide was really funny. Loved him a lot. All the tour guides have been really great on Alma. Yeah. Um, the scenery is beautiful and the sun came out. Yay! Finally. Who could ask for anything more? It made for some really pretty pictures. So yeah. definitely recommend visiting Kinderdike, especially if it's like tulip season, because it's supposed to be like extra beautiful oh. then. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, it's just like going into those museum mills and seeing yeah. all the gears grinding and turning and going upstairs and looking at all of it. That was fun. And they replaced the roofs like every 56 years and they had just done a few of them. So that's a lot. That's a lot of work to do though. Wow. Yeah. All right, and then not much in the way of entertainment tonight. It was yeah. just very chill music played over the speakers. No piano tunes, no <laughs> dancey dancies. I think Romeo was just spinning some real chill tunes. We just sat around and talked, which was fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. Let's get into dinner. <laughs> What, can we remember what we even ate? Yeah. You had a salad that I thought was gonna be a caprese salad. Basically caprese, so your mozzarella, tomato, basil, but it was like a lot of roughage as well, like lettuce, which mm. I didn't mind. It said balsamic, but it was more like a French dressing. Not my favorite, but Ooh, the salad that. itself was good. <laughs> All right, I had a, no, it was called like a tiger prawns or something, I forget, but it's a shrimp 
on some risotto and all of it was good. Risotto was flavored well, the shrimp was cooked well, it was warm and tasty. <laughs> very like a very small hug in a bowl. Oh, that's fine. I'm, I'm trying to steal your phrase. That's my saying, yeah. You had some lobster bisque with foam on it. This was my favorite soup by far of the entire cruise. It was beautifully seasoned, had a little hunk of lobster in it. I like the little I don't know, like twirl of thing? bread, whatever it was, kind of like puff pastry. Delicious. I had, I think it was the vegetable consomme, mm -hmm. and it had some kind of egg product in it, which... An egg royale? Yeah, it was eggy. Well, what is happening out there? <laughs> we are moving. The uh, river, I don't know. Yeah, all rolling down the river. <laughs> it was eggy and mushy. It kind of reminded me of soft tofu. So the texture, mm -hmm. I could see how it could be a little off-putting. I didn't mind it, though. So it was... <laughs> Okay. okay. I don't know if I'd get it again, but it was pretty good. Yeah. You had some fish. This was salmon uh, with root vegetables, like some sort of fun potato fixing. I don't know what it was called. And a really good, like, sauce, and, like, burp blanc. So I don't know. It was a white sauce. I, did, I forgot to read the menu. Probably my favorite overall meal I've had. The portion Ooh. was perfect. It was perfectly cooked, seasoned really well. The vegetables were kind of a little tough as they've been on this journey yeah. for some reason, but otherwise it was great. I had the beef dish, which also had the duck pate on top. And the duck pate was really mild. It went well with the beef. The beef was cooked wonderfully, super tender, flavorful. Vegetables a little hard, yeah. like you said, but I enjoyed it overall. Gravy, mm -mm. <laughs> um, Dessert, you had a pumpkin thing. Pumpkin cinnamon spice pie. I love pumpkin pie and this did not disappoint at all. I've been waiting for pumpkin something oh. and it even had dark chocolate smear on it. It's some sort of like pineapple salad which didn't really go with it but That's I didn't mind it. It was all really tasty. It worked okay. Yeah it was good. All right I got the ice cream of the day which was strawberry. It had a plum compote in the bottom and there were two pieces of plum in the very bottom complemented each other well. Strawberry ice cream. What else can you say besides yum yum and a Dollar Tree wafer? <laughs> Those dang Dollar Tree wafers. That's it. They're good though. So we're gonna pack. Yes. Go to bed. Mm -hmm. We will see you tomorrow in Amsterdam. Just a few short hours. Yeah, we have booked a uh, ship transfer bus to the airport. So we'll just kind of document how that works and yippee. Way more affordable than a taxi. I forget exactly yeah. how much it is, but taxis were like 70 euros and this was, this was cheaper. not that much. So yeah. we're excited to try it out. All yeah. right. Bedtime. Good see night. you tomorrow. <laughs> And now it is time for In the Shower with Echoey J. I'm a Certo edition. Shh. Oh mercy, it's going to be shadowy and echoey, but here we go. So this shower is a triangle formation. It's been an okay shape. Now this distance has been a little bit challenging for me personally, but it's been okay. Sometimes I make uncomfortable contact with this wall trying to get in or out of the shower, but it's all right. Sliding door. Oh, what else do we have? Oh, I just hit the <laughs> hit that with my hand. Snack shelf. That's an okay size. You could put a lot of Belgian chocolate on there. Just don't let the water touch it, or it might melt. Nice little grab bar. We do have um, rainfall shower head option as well as handheld detachable shower head, adjustable. Look at that iridescent tile work stuff in here. This is a uh, shampoo, body wash, conditioner. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, there's the uh, clothesline. I wanted to point that out. Uh, what else we got going on? Oh, the controls. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's see if we can get in here. Squeak. Oh gosh, yo. So the, here, let me get real close. The first knob has a shower and a bathtub. If you turn it this way, the rainfall shower head comes on. If you turn it this way, nothing happens because maybe because it's not a bathtub. I don't know. Temperature control, hotter, colder. And then this is for the top unit, either on or off, controlled by this temperature that you have set. So pretty good. But now that I'm in here, I'm remembering how much this space and I don't, oh gosh, get along. Ah, too well. Uh, but I mean, overall height was good. I appreciated the products. I liked the rainfall, even though I just used the little handheld unit most of the time. Let's go into the spreadsheet. Give it a rating. Here it come. Yeah. Phase one of disembarkation morning. Place bags and haul 30 minutes prior to getting off the ship. Done. Now, 
quick breakfast. Now to wait in the lounge until 8 o'clock. If you have a red colored luggage type, we have the luggage for you outside. Please identify your luggage, then it will be put on the bus. Now, interestingly enough, we are stacked too deep today, so we get to go through another AMA ship to access the shore. Well, let's see. Yeah, let's just stay on this other ship and see where they're going. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to AMA Serena. It looks just like ours. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Off to the bus. The next phase is to come claim your luggage and roll it to the bus. Actually, never mind. We just had to point to it and then they are going to roll it over to the bus for us.